hello guys this is taps welcome to my youtube channel i'm so excited to share yet another video with you in this video i want to show you exactly how you can uh clone any website out there and then you can turn that website into a wordpress theme uh so i don't know if by if for any reasons you've gone you've seen a website you just love the website you just love to clone the website to see how it is designed and for you to just have uh maybe use the design as a template for you to use so uh i've been in that space many times and i want to show you exactly how you can get this done i know online you would see several tutorials into how to clone a website online and if you clone it you realize that you clone it just to be an html page uh, not everybody is very familiar with html uh, definitely nobody wants to use an html website today everybody will agree with me that it's boring everybody just wants to jump on a wordpress website and just with a click uh drag and drop here and there you have your website set up and that's the beauty and that's what i'll be showing you how to do in this video i know again that there are several tutorials online for how to convert your html into wordpress for you to separate your css file do all those stuff Ah, you know it's very boring for you to sit down and especially if you are not tech savvy but i'll show you how to get that done with a few click of the button in this video so i want you to follow this tutorial step by step because what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be converting uh uh any wordpress website we we'll see how they're into a complete wordpress team that you can install on any of your wordpress website and you have the clone website so it will be step by step i would advise that you follow this video from the beginning don't skip anything in between because you might miss some very important step uh, before i jump straight into this tutorial i would like to know that i am not encouraging anybody to clone anybody's website online or for you to uh, copy anybody website online i am only sharing this video for tutorial purpose alone just for educational purpose i just want you to know what's there what's possible for you to do it's just unethical for you to go and copy somebody else's website online and just turn into a team and start using it you have to take permission or you have to even if you have to do this you should be able to customize the website into something entirely different it can just be a guide for you to design your own please 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 like i say this is just for educational purpose alone so without wasting so much time let's get started into this video The first thing for us to do right now is to find the website we want to copy uh you can go online any website whatsoever you want to from amazon to any local website around uh, but know that the bigger the website the more heavier it is uh, and the longer the process so you have to take note of that for the sake of this tutorial i will be using this very simple blog uh here iblogtraffic.com uh so it's very light uh no much content so that the process will be very very fast that being said if you have any challenge whatsoever in between this video and you just need more clarity you can leave them for me in the comment section below and if you find this video very useful please give me a thumbs up i'll appreciate it so much and subscribe to this youtube channel because that's the only way i get to grow this channel and that's the only way you get to see me when i post more awesome videos i post videos on wordpress every now and then try showing you the free stuff the things that work and the things that do not work so if you are into that space you should subscribe here i'm very sure that you get value for your subscription i will We'll be showing you two softwares you can use to clone this uh two because sometimes one might not work uh sometimes the other and two again because what they do is a little bit is slightly different from each other the first software that i'll be recommending that you use is htt track you can just search htt track download online and then you can uh, find this ht track uh web site copier uh, free software 
uh, for offline browser you can click this to download this the reason why i'm recommending this software first for you to use is because it's it it, it encompassing it will download the entire website for you uh, sometimes you don't want to do that you just want to maybe download a page or these are you need to wait for you to see the next software i'll be recommending that will do that for you but for this software it will crawl the entire website and it will save it as html so this is the website here so what you have to do is come to the download section click this and then from there you can download uh, whichever version of the software uh, is appropriate for your device if there isn't an android device there is a version here for android there is a version here for linux and then for windows this is the recommended one for windows 10 8 or from window vista to window 10 basically and for 64 bit so if you know that your website is 64 bit and you have this you can just come straight here and click this link here for you to download the software if you click this sometimes and your software uh, doesn't download just come to the alternate site here and click this you should have your website software downloading to your pc so like we have our own here downloading but i will not be downloading this because i already have this software so i'll cancel this download once you download this software you just run it and install it like every other software you run on your pc it's as simple as abc it won't take up to a minute or two and once you download this software you will get an interface like this so this is exactly what you would see so i'll be back here in the jiffy to show you how we can get this done the second software i want us to look into is sciotech web copy uh let's search for that so you can see Sciotech web copy, Sciotech web copy versus HTT track. So you can just uh, download, click the Sciotech download. Uh, from there, we should be able to see where to download this software. Let's click this. Okay, so this is the website for Sciotech. And uh, once you come down here, you would also have the opportunity to download uh, uh, the version of the software that would appeal to your system so you can see here we have uh, the software here for 64 bit we have one for 32 bit so you can download and if you come down here you see other setups as well but i have not really played with all of those things so ideally i would have just downloaded this right now and once you hit this download button as usual it will download the software to your pc for some weird reasons and well not really weird for security reasons there are some website out there that will have been heavily secured that will not allow uh third party crawling on on their platform ht track does crawl the entire website to download everything but because of the security they bought on the system they would not allow the software download it but that's where this software comes in very handy because it doesn't need to download every of the files the css and everything behind uh the page of the website what it does is to crawl and and just copy the the front page of every of the website so that way there are some there are some restrictions you get on HTT track that this will just give you the surface design I think that's good enough many times for you to just uh, have a front-end design that you can walk around with so that's it so if you if you hit this download button right now this should download the software to your PC as you can see it's downloading down here but we'll cancel this as usual because i already have this software on my pc uh, so if you download it as usual run it like every other software and it will give you an interface like this so these are the two softwares i, would, I recommend that i've used as work for me to copy uh, web files online but again they would all copy this into html and that's the reason why i want you to follow this tutorial because while after we have done this you will see exactly how we can convert this html page into a wordpress theme with a few click of the button uh, so follow this tutorial step by step don't miss any part of it don't skip here and there you might miss a thing or two and you might eventually waste your time okay so let's get started so this is the blog i want to copy for example so i'll grab this url 
I'll go straight into HT track and then what I have to do here is to click the next button. So I have to give this project a name. I can just say test. You can give it a category if you want to, but I really don't do all of those things. And make sure that you set a directory here where you want your download to go. So this is set already to my download. So you can come here, pick a directory. And once you are done doing that, you can hit the next button. And then you can paste your URL here. Uh, here is where you ensure what you want to do. Uh, you can click here. You will see that you can update your existing download in case you've downloaded this website before and it's updated. You want to update it. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, we just want to bring it to download website. So this is all saying to this software, crawl the entire website and download it. So once this is done, I hit the next button. And what do I need to do? Just uh disconnect when finished and then i hit the finish button and this software right now will crawl the website and try to download the files okay so that being done let's come to the second software almost the same thing this is where we paste our url so this is where we choose the directory we want this file downloaded to uh, this is a download i can okay maybe choose this folder now we have the option here to scan the specific website and then configure what we want to copy uh, so let's eat this i think i like this feature but i think this scanning is going to take so much of our time so i this scanning might take a while as well so i wouldn't want to waste so much time for the sake of this tutorial but this scanning is just for you to scan the website to see what it looks like and maybe set some of the pages you want to download and the ones you don't want to it just help you choose specific pages uh, that you want to scan if it's just one or two it's just it's just an awesome feature but the blog i'm trying to crawl right now is not one that is that quite very heavy so i'd like to cancel this but i really need to mention this so that you know exactly how to get this done and sometimes you can just uh you will see everything here and the url here once you're done so you can uh play around with this uh so we just hit the copy button so it's saying it's showing that this folder doesn't exist so we have to create it and then we can see that our website is copying already so depending like i said earlier on how heavy uh your website is it can take a while you will i won't expect that you want to uh clone the whole of amazon.com for example and you expect that to finish in some minutes <laughs> that's gonna be crazy right so depending on how heavy your website is this will take a little while but we'll be here uh to see uh when this will be done and over with so let's just hang in there and let's just follow so we have our website copied already and that's cool we can check our output folder to see the files so you can see here that we have every of our website files here if we click the index file here this should open the website in our local browser so let's open this let me open this with chrome so you can see that I have this website here open in a local browser in my downloads page and the website is here live and working. So that, that's the beauty of downloading this website locally. But right now this website is in HTML and you cannot possibly edit log into the back end except you want to do that on uh your website and the website is not live actually but you can also still upload the html file into your live browser into your hosting account and then host it live uh, but yeah, for the sake of this tutorial i'll show you how to convert this into a wordpress team and before i continue or get started i want to say again that i 
I'm only showing you this video for educational purpose alone. I do not support that you go out there and start cloning any website you see online and start reading them offline or start converting them into a WordPress team. I am only showing you these just for educational purpose alone. You must understand people's intellectual property and their rights. You cannot just go all out there and start cloning people's websites. So please, that's not good. But on this on this channel, you know me. I show you the things that work and the things that do not work. Uh, once I have anything that I know would help, I always like to let you know. So this is the folder from HT, HT Track. Uh, so if I eat this as well, it's going to open the same page. Uh, but what we are going to do uh, with this file is for us to zip them. Uh, so this is the test file. So I will send this to compressed zip. And this is the other folder for this. So I will send this to compressed zip. Awesome. There's a website that we are going to use to convert our, our website to a WordPress team. And this is the website here, HTML to WordPress.io. Yes, I have searched online for so many other platforms. Uh, I've, I've checked online for platforms here and there that would do this future for me online. Uh, I am that lazy guy. I always don't have time to sit down to get things done. I love to get uh, places where things can get done for me easily and many times for free. Uh, but this is the only platform for now that I have seen that can do this for you within a few minutes. So this is where we are going to be uploading our zip file to and then converting our website to WordPress. So I will drop a link to this website in the description below. So here's the point where I will have to convert my files to WordPress. So coming back here, uh, this is the file that we downloaded with HT track is 8.6 MB thereabout. So let me check for this is the one we did with Celtech and this is about uh, 2 MB. This is lighter. So let me try to see if I can convert this one. And so i'll drop it into this website and depending on how heavy the file is it may take a minute or two for this to get done but this is almost done as you can see here it's even gonna have to convert in less than a minute okay team converted so you can see we have our website here and you can see this is wordpress already and uh the amazing thing about this this uh platform is that it gives you the option for you to peruse the website live on wordpress we can uh, we can come to the dashboard for us to see what we've got okay php needs to be updated and we can see the pages so you can see that all the pages i have on the website is here and we can also come to post so you can see i've got all the post in here as well copied and that's it it's it's amazing you have uh your you have wordpress uh here and that's that's the beauty and this brings us to uh the final thing we have to do in this video and that will be for us to download our theme and if you come up here you see a place to download this theme and this is where it gets sweet and it gets bitter because the truth is that if you click this button here, you will have your team downloaded. But and that's the good part, right? Uh, the really not too good part is that it's not for free. You will have to pay a token for you to get uh, this done. But just imagine uh, the stress, uh, the ease for you to just hit this button like I just did right now, and then you and then you just 
buy this team and you own this team it means you can literally own any website uh, out there and you just crawl and you have them and you would have this for just 19.90 dollars uh, for a fact i need to be very sincere the first time i used this platform is not really clearly written on their page that uh, it's a paid software and that's the reason why I also never did mention that it is a piece of software because I had mixed feelings and I know you must be having it right now. Uh, and then I just asked myself, do I really want to pay the 20 bucks to get this done? Uh, but again, I just I just had to think through again and just imagine the, the stress this will save me. And I asked myself, is this worth twenty dollars and sincerely in all honesty if you think that it's not worth twenty dollars then you don't really need to uh this would come in very handy for people who have been blogging or have website for a long period of time and they set up in html and they cannot afford to lose their website or the design they love it and they want to keep it and they just want to imagine uh uh, those kind of people are the people you tell them pay twenty dollars so that I convert this website for you to WordPress. If twenty bucks is too much for you to pay for this service, and then you probably do not need to convert that HTML to your WordPress team. And it's just a simple truth. That's what I told myself, and that's that's the encouragement, the lift I got to pay to use this service so that's that's it that's there is there are no mincing words about it if you go on the website you see that they don't have an affiliate program so this is not me marketing or using an affiliate link or anything at all whatsoever uh, i don't even know who owns this website i'm not paid to do this video but this is just a platform i have used and that has worked and i just want to let you know i will not be buying this thing because it's my website it's uh i don't need to so but if you really do need to you can give them a try they have good and amazing positive feedback they've got good support to help you and to just uh help you set up your website team so thank you very much for watching this video uh, please do give this platform a try and let me know your experience uh, let me know in the comment section get give me feedback let me know if this tool did really work for you and if it really did not just let me know maybe i might do another review about this about this software or this uh this website to let people know exactly how it works so thank you very much for watching this video if this video is very useful for you give me a thumbs up and let me know if this tutorial has really helped you in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you and subscribe to this youtube channel that's the only way you get to know when i keep posting awesome videos just like this thank you very much have an amazing time see you in my next video